what's going on everybody <clears throat> welcome back welcome to the beatmajors.net um so today we're gonna focus on uh basically how to save your beats and get them ready for collaborations um we've made a video on how to track your beats out so if you're tracking them out to send them to an artist or you know if you're tracking them out or to send them to get mixed or anything like that uh we basically are we have a video showing you how to do that but now we needed to make a video to show you guys how to collab with other producers and you know basically to show you how how you can set your session up to where you know it's easier for the other guy or girl to you know open your FL Studio session without having all the same sounds or same plugins. Um, that's a problem that a lot of people run into is they're like, you know, I took my FLP over to my boy's crib or my girl's crib and, you know, I couldn't open it. And that can be a problem. So how do you fix that problem? Well, this is going to be the way that you would send it to them so that they can receive it because they might not have the same plugins. They may not have the same sounds. They may not have the same effects. So we need to make sure that those per, that person or those people that are receiving the file on the other end have everything that you have or at least have the same uh, effects and things like that already applied to their session without having the same effects or same plugins that you have. So for here, for this one, this is a collab with the homie Killer Dame. Um, if you guys don't know who Killer Dame is, go look him up. Go look him up on Twitter or Killer Dame Beats with a Z dot com. Um, but he sent us this track. And basically, he had the melody and kick and things like that going. We just added a few extra small elements to basically get the track built. But in order for him to send it to us for, so that we could open it and not have any issues, is everything had to be some sort of audio. Um, now, you can still deal with the, the MIDI and things like that if you need to. But it has to be an audio file like a kick, a 808 or, you know, something like that. It can't be a VST like Electric X or, or Omnisphere or Gladiator. It has to be it audio um so he already had like a pad here basically uh set up um he had keys he had an arp set up so we basically just uh added you know the small elements drums kick you know i mean a snare hi-hat things like that 808 and we were able to go back and forth because we as you see we have the audio right here in our session and we only dealt with audio files as far as the drums go. We didn't pull in any other plugins or anything like that. The track was pretty much done as far as melody goes, but he needed us to add drums and add a couple other things. So in order for you to achieve this, like I said, again, is make sure that all your tracks is audio. How do you make sure that all your track, all your tracks are audio? You send your plugin or whatever, wherever your audio is coming from. So it will be a plugin. If you know, if you're sending this to someone else, you don't want, they don't have the plugin. Okay, send that plugin to a mixer track. So as you can see, uh, Gladiator, which was the pad sound, he sent it to the mixer, which is right here on channel one. That pad there got bounced down as audio, or you can hit this arm disc recording button. And what'll happen is once you hit that and you turn on your record and you set your loop point in your playlist, it'll record all the audio from that one track in the loop form right here. So he had a quick, you know, two bar, four bar loop right here. And we, he recorded it as audio and basically gave us the session from there. Then we went back in, like I said, and added our own drum sounds here and everything was, you know, all together. Um, so again, you know, just make sure that when you're sending something to someone that you are, uh, it's all audio. You know, if they don't have your plugins or if they don't have your effects or anything, make sure you have all your effects applied to that track. Record it as audio, just as I showed you. You would send it to a mixer track first, hit the ARM disk recording, or you can export it out as if you're exporting out a WAV file. Send all of your sounds to a plugin track. Make sure they're all on the mixer. And then you can export it out as a WAV file. And then you can then, um, you know, do the split mixer tracks so that basically everything will be bounced down that's on the mixer and then you could just drag it right back in but the best way to do it you know in this form is to arm your tracks all you can arm all of them if you want to if you have 99 sound you can arm all 99 tracks and have it record together of course that might kill your cpu but you can do that it's very possible that's what we do that's how we set our track our beats up for collaborations this is how we send it to other producers so that they can they can collaborate with us and still uh have the same sounds um 
um, th and things like that. They may not have the same effects, but you know we can apply our effects first and then you know send them send them that way. But this is a, the way that you would do that. So you know, if, say if we had Gladiator on this track, like I said, you would just hit that arm record button, go over here, hit the record button, and hit uh, play, and it'll just start going and it'll record it and it'll stop once it's done recording that section that you have looped that you want the audio of. I hope that this helps you guys. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. Please, please, please press the like button, thumb, give it a thumbs up, um, hit the subscribe button, share it with everyone. Um, and until next time, guys, like I said, I hope that this helped you. Uh, have a good one. Peace.